Here you are, Rat. A beaker of beans' finest secret cider. Zach, built it go. Hello and welcome to the Loose Butthole Reviews. I am your host, Smokey, and joining with me as always is my co-host, Spooge. Hello. And before we get into the review proper, we have three rules we gotta give out. First rule is our rating must be a 5 out of 5, 1 being we hate it, 5 being we love it. Rule number 2 is if we want our money back, we give it a good old Jeff Goldblum rating. And rule number 3 is if uh, we both agree that the movie deserves it, it will get a god tier, a 6 out of 5. And today, we are reviewing Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah. And like always, so we can just go ahead and talk about the movie without having to worry about spoilers or anything, going to go ahead and give a rating. Uh, five out of five for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, five out of five for me. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't know the Badger was Bill Murray. Yeah, yeah, the the badger was apparently <laughs> Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking the I I will say that even though the audio was off in this because of how they recorded it, oh, it was mm-hmm. it definitely like you said added a charm to it. Definitely added mm-hmm. a charm to this that uh I definitely enjoyed. And there was like some parts where it was like it was it would get really good and I, I did like the attention to detail where they'd like they go into like a uh, with like the I mean, there's a scene with the squirrels when it was kind of like an empty house con- like construction thing you could hear the echo you know like when they're talking. Oh yeah, so for like sure. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, the, definitely. It, it most of the audio didn't seem intentional, but it seemed so natural <clears throat> because of it. I, I mm-hmm. just loved it. Hey. Apparently they just all went. They said it was kind of like you know you just all went for a weekend and they just did all the initial dialogue in that little house in Connecticut. <laughs> that that is. We're all uh, just staying there. I I definitely <laughs> noticed that, but it definitely didn't take away from me. But oh, I I guess we kind of got to explain this this movie didn't get a god tier. Oh yeah, it yeah, came yeah. close. It came close. Mm-hmm. I I was on the fence about it, but it this is uh. Uh, there's gonna be movies like this, though. It's uh, I, I can suggest everybody go watch this, but I definitely have a warning for everybody that you, there is a probability that you might not like this. Like the the audio might be too off for you. I know stop mo like for some reason people hate stop motion. Mm-hmm. The plot this is of definitely. The- uh- <laughs> it's like it's done and it's not like in a bad way but like it gets all nice like crazy janky all of a sudden oh, now and then <laughs> yeah def- definitely they, they're they missing some frames mm. and I, I can I know that, that that bothers people is when frames yeah. are everybody always always about on about frame rate and yeah the fra- frame rate like shifts because they kind of they use it for like comedic timing like to make them look silly that they'll which is actually a pretty like smart use is just like oh well, we'll just use less frames Make them yeah, all stiff, you know? see the, <laughs> that's why frame rate ain't everything, and sometimes frame mm-hmm. rate is is everything. But you gotta have like fifteen frames a second. Mm-hmm. It it just works. A low low frame rates are usually bad, but you in context they can be very fucking good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I, the plot itself. Is all over the place. I, oh, I yeah. will say, it's, it's definitely like an ADD kind of film. I mean, it's like it's definitely following like the same thing, but it's there's just like so many parts that like kind of feel like it's like about to end, and then it's like, oh shit, wait, we forgot they're still in the fucking <laughs> still yeah. in, like trap. <laughs> yeah, it's still fucking it, and it. I thought it, in, I thought it did end for a second, but oh, then it showed everybody back in the sewers. I was like. Oh shit! I guess not. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we we never got him out of there. <laughs> and, but oh, didn't. And then we kind of i I didn't like the end. I I loved it when it was like somber. Like, oh, it, it showed mm. everybody in the. It's like, oh, they they don't. We don't know how they're gonna survive in the sewers. You know, the, how are they gonna get food? You know, but mm. uh, 
And then then they wrapped the ending up kind of a bit too clean for me. I was like, oh, yeah. I I I, it, I wish yeah. I wish I get that had, at least you could have still had the supermarket, but you could still like have insinuated more that like it's still kind of a temporary thing. Yeah, or just insinuated that, that that there is food, but there's still a level of danger to get the food. Mm. You know. Oh yeah. Because they're robbing the same people. They're robbing. Mm. So I I just find it very sloppy of the farmers that are being robbed to just leave their market completely unattended at night. <laughs> <laughs> like you get robbed by animals, and you don't expect humans to go those people are kind of easy to rob (laughs) come on now especially the one paranoid guy that like knew exactly what the fuck was going on exactly when it started like he Mm. he was just wanting that shit to happen (laughs) like that was his way to get all the farms together and oh he did it Oh, but oh yeah, the villain characters were great. <laughs> oh, I loved I loved the humans design. Like the yeah. puppets in this was done extremely well. Like the mm. it was almost kind of I wouldn't be surprised if there was like some robotics behind them because it it seems so lifelike sometimes. Like the mm-hmm. the motion of the the skin and everything. It was like really detailed. Yeah, like just the the big guy. He his his cheekbones weren't his cheeks weren't just like big solid plastic. Like they they actually had motion to them and and everything. Like mm-hmm. it, there, it was a lot more elasticy than than most stop motion. That, you know, usually stop motion just goes with the oh plastic. It can't in, there would in, be, the skin can't move, but the skin moves a little bit of like like blending or something with the computer or something too. Maybe that that is true that they could have done that. I I'm definitely curious that of different animations. If if you're a film person, oh, you're gonna love this. Like it, it's just so fucking. They even have a or chick on gun have, in or, this, or they just really boosted the uh, the frame rate. I mean, of like how much they did, you know, like how many shots they took with that, like just to get like the cheek movements, which is would be crazy too. <laughs> yeah, I the, it it. Definitely a lot of skill went behind creating mm. this. I I wish I could oh, yeah. get a, a god tier, but again, I I definitely don't see everybody liking this. I can see if I'm not mistaken, I remember this when this came out. This was this was a flop when this came out. Like it, this mm. was like a a weird movie that didn't really succeed too well. Let, yeah, let me double check. I get the Wikipedia. What he? Let me check the box office. Yeah, Starfish actually was some that oh. I was watching this. And he, he exactly said that. Like, yeah, this like is a is an underrated gym. Oh that yeah, it definitely he, is. He it, the budget was forty million, and it only made forty forty six point yeah. five million. It it didn't. It flopped hard. It was a box office bomb. That that's very unfortunate. But I I know why that this isn't for. Your average movie goer. Your average movie goer is, you, you basically you, they they're not a kid, but they still have the mentality of a fucking kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. you just gotta <laughs> you gotta be able to jingle keys for two hours. <laughs> if you can't jingle the keys excitingly for two hours, then it it's not gonna do well. Mm. And oh, this ain't a the definitely not a key jingling film like you you definitely got to watch this you got to be paying attention they they humor is very it. dry oh yeah very dry humor like you you definitely just got to be into this mood like you gotta mm-hmm. oh a tiny little nitpick since i'm getting into this i couldn't get into the set designs they just mm-hmm. wasn't enough they, i get why they chose the color palette they did Mm. But it was so blank. This is the problem with I had it. It was the color palette of a desert movie, not set in a desert, and that mm. really bothered me. It was a, a bunch of orange, browns, and yellows, and very light reds. Very and and any time it was red, it it was very obvious that it was red, and there there was mm. a tiny bit of blue, and the blue was just to symbolize the one character. 
that that's mm-hmm. all the blue like the blue was an important detail and that's the only reason why they used blue it's like oh yeah it's fucking yeah it's it, it's it's great they they utilize the color palette to its fullest they they try mm-hmm. to make it pop with color but it just wasn't vibrant enough this color palette is is almost impossible to make pleasing and it mm-hmm. it it definitely like I found it pleasing though, but I don't mind like the desert type of things. Well, yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Like with this color palette, there's a dryness to it, you know. That, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That I just I I don't find pleasant, and I I can see that a lot of other people that 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 seems to be the majority. Like you got to have colors, got to mm-hmm. got to be able to jingle keys, and you got to have some popping colors, even if it's just like one character that wears like a floral suit. That that's just mm-hmm. like a little bit too pink, you know. Mm-hmm. And you can even kill the character off, you know, if you want. Just mm-hmm. just have a character that that kids and ridiculous people that don't actually pay attention to movies can glom onto and go, oh, that that's a cool character. I might not have liked this movie, but that character was cool. And it is literally just psychologically because they were wearing a very bright, vibrant color. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> like you get, and unfortunately, that that's the one thing movie uh, film makers and and shit peep directors usually don't try to put into perspective when it comes to. So some do, some do put psychology into it, but others completely ignore the the psychological aspect of of their movies. And this, I can definitely see just a shit ton of people just going, oh, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> like, why am I mm-hmm. even? Like it's it's so not eh, ick, and it's like no, mm. it's not like it's it's supposed like it's it's all intentional. It's all <laughs> it's this is what good movie this this is what good movie creation is is this movie like it's it's literally just a bunch of people getting together in a fucking house and recording dia- dialogue and then fucking using the dialogue. At, as a set piece, you know that that is mm. the what they focused all of the the set dressing and everything around was the dialogue. That was very obvious. Like dialogue came first, and everything came second. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, I can't. And, that, and for me, I I don't really. It's, it's hard for me to even place why I also disagree that I, I agree that I couldn't just. Cause this is like a unanimous decision. This isn't like, Oh, one of us thought it was like God tier worthy, but the other one was like, you know, then no, that's happened before. Yeah, that is, that, that has happened. But, um, but it's just like, uh, there's just, I guess there's something that didn't like completely grab me to the point where I'm like, Ooh, I wouldn't mind like watching this movie immediately again after like tomorrow or something, you know? Uh, I, I want to put a suggestion. Was the plot a little too clean for you? Yeah, I think the the plot was a little bit too clean. And yeah, yeah. I like think, for I think for that's... the sets, for uh, in my opinion, for the set designs and everything, it should have had a little more grit to it. Yeah. I mean, he's a thief for crying out loud. You could, mm-hmm. unfortunately, one of the animals should have died. Besides the rat, mm. <laughs> they killed off the rat, but that oh uh, the rat <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, great. <laughs> definitely yes, definitely had a great death. The rat was definitely my favorite character, William Defoe. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That, yeah, that I mean, was William Defoe yeah, playing the, the rat. The... He, of course, he's he's always the best character. You know, anytime mm. he's in anything. You, if you insisted, don't even try you, to if you, like, if you like insisted on God tier, I, I probably would have like, all right, you know, I actually would would been to that just just for William Defoe Rhett. Oh yeah, William Defoe Rhett definitely. <laughs> I was on the, that, that's why I was on the fence really to give it God tier. You're right, it was William Defoe Rhett. <laughs> it's just like I don't know, <laughs> and it but, might take it. I might. I feel like this is also a movie I'm gonna look back and like like more as I think about it. Do. Yeah, I, I can already I, tell. It's like that. Like more, I think about it like that. Because I know, like, uh, also with its like dry humor too. It's like there's a lot of like, you don't always expect. I mean, I was getting some like bigger laughs when I was kind of like 
going at the end because it was like kind of picking up like the comedy was picking up like with the uh with the story which i actually appreciate with this too um kind of like the cake rising chaos of it you know oh um, yeah for sure but uh but there is like a lot of like you just expect that and i feel like some people don't really exactly know or they think like because you don't add laugh out loud like something's not funny i think there's a type of humor of like laughing on the inside too you know yeah definitely <laughs> like, like hmm. oh i <laughs> that, that's my favorite kind of fucking humor is the more mm. subtle approachable humor you know the mm. the the, the it's humor that causes thought that causes a, a, a level of thinking that that most people don't like. It doesn't activate our ape response to be like, oh, oh, oh. It, 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 it's not jingling keys. It's not fucking jingling keys in front of us <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to entertain us. Come <laughs> coming, Dre. That this was actually trying to do something that this was a bunch of people coming together and trying to make a movie that that actually had a, a very positive message of, of togetherness basically mm-hmm. and you, you actually got to think about it to to understand what they're trying to teach except until the very the, the very end they kind of basically just spell it out for you like oh family friends and being together yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The most important thing, dance party. Oh, <laughs> it's like oh. Oh yeah, that might have been my last thing. Even though they kind of established that the dancing and dancing's fun, but I do have a, I do kind of have a nitpick with movies that end with dancing. <laughs> yeah, that, they didn't need to do that. Like I said, they. I really wish they just ended it with the like them showing the supermarket, like just, mm-hmm. just leave. It would. It. it there would. There would have been the grit there, actually, to be honest, if it was a somber ending to, oh, they're, they're alive, but what the fuck are they going to do about food? Or, or it could have been like, or it could have been like, oh, they, and, it's like a, oh, it's like a false hope thing. They, they open it, they see all the good food and stuff, but then they notice, oh, security cameras, oh, look at the security and stuff, and it's, oh, here we go again. Oh, and the sequel baiting, that, that could have sequel baited everybody, fucking, mm. oh, and then... And then you could have had the neat, the small niche crowd that loved this movie get in an uproar about never getting a sequel, and you could have fucking came out with a sequel twenty years later. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, and then you could have made it suck, and then everybody be like, "Oh, this isn't like the original." <laughs> oh, but it, everybody, everybody else would love it. The everybody yeah, that yeah. loves the original would hate it. But oh, look at the keys! Look at the keys! <laughs> you get another you film. See, we- we see we use this new AI animation that makes it that like makes it look like claymation, but it's really the computer doing everything. <laughs> oh, that I I know they haven't done a movie like that, but when they do, that's gonna really fucking bother me. <laughs> and, oh, that's that's getting a Jeff Goldblum for sure. <laughs> Whatever movie that's gonna be. <laughs> I mean, the, At the very least, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's it, they're not like, oh, this is stop motion. There's only like a a filter they, of like it kind of looks like they've been molded with clay, you know? Yeah, they're going more with the comic be- comic book look in that. That that's what I loved about that. They they look like an animated comic book, to, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Like it's got that cell shade. Yeah, it's all that in the filter. trailer, like the cell shade, because people are compared it more to like the Spider Man, but seeing it on the big screen. Like it looks a lot more like it's like a almost like the uh, like the like Clay Kirby game, you know? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so, it's like oh, because it like, almost seems like there's like fingerprints. Like it's just how like they are. Like it almost looks like it's finger indents on them, you know? Oh, so it's, it's, it's so the cell shading is just a be, filter. It's not trying to be like yeah, it's but it's not trying to be like stop motion either. It's it's interesting because I've. And this is from just, like, what I've seen in, like, the snippets of, like, doing deliveries. I know some of the scenes do do the Spider-Man thing of lowering the frame rate. They do mm-hmm. that in some of the scenes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninja Turtles. But, yeah, it's fucking... But yeah, I'm talking about, yeah, like, the actual, like, texture of, like, all the characters Man, and that... stuff. I gotta. I'm gonna have to watch that now. I'm. I mm. that that made me more really curious. But yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, it's it's a lot more because I know it's like uh, it would look a lot more like. Uh... I, I kind of like when I first saw it I'm like oh it's like kind of like the Spider-Man but like 
even though it does like and, some similar things that it does it, there is something that more stands out in it since since we're think with it Brent, since we talked about claymation this is claymation oh and i think that's why i couldn't give this card here because claymation people don't like claymation man like i don't know what mm. it is but claymation like that it's my favorite type of movies or is mm. like any claymation movie i i generally love like there's i don't think there's the there's not a single claymation like I love Chloraline, I love fucking mm-hmm. I love any of Tim Burton movie I mean, claymation. Yeah, I mean Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean that has a god tier. Oh yeah, that's god tier for sure. That that's one of my favorite movies. that's my fifth favorite movie. Yeah. Is Nightmare Before Christmas. Fucking uh mm-hmm. e- even <clears throat> his uh uh The Corpse Bride. I fucking love that one. Mm-hmm. Like Oh the, yeah, yeah. Uh and the 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 one show uh Grummet fucking grimace and grummet that oh that yeah walls and grummet Ramus and grummet yeah that fucking that that show i love that show it's just something about claymation i i gotta rate it high and and i know for a fact that claymation just gets a really bad rap i it's i i guess because people don't think of the the amount of effort that it fucking takes to make this like it's mm-hmm. it's not just like oh wait I animated this this 3D model on a on a computer to like do this motion. It's no, I'm I'm taking this this puppet that I made and I'm taking a picture of it, moving it just a frame, <laughs> taking another picture, moving it another frame, taking another picture and doing that for like 24 hours just to get like 4 seconds worth of motion. Mhm. And it, it's just there's that that's what I love about it. There, there's so much effort and blood, sweat, and tears that are put in claymation movies that just and they always get shit on, man. It it's mm-hmm. a shame, man. They they definitely need they definitely need a, more love than they just than yeah. they get. I'd rather see the new Marvel movie. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Oh, but there ain't been a claymation movie in a while, has there? I was trying to list um, a fucking. I was trying to think not, of a recent not one, one. Not one in theaters. I mean, like the, the only like. One yeah, of course of you like can a, find. Uh, of course you can find like underground Mad God. ones, but yeah, the underground ones they they're barely on any streaming services. <laughs> yeah, and we have, we have we have to get fucking chiller to to watch Mad God. <laughs> oh, the. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> but, um, I think we done did it. The Bastards is there don't any... do free oh, trials, though, because they know. I love the soundtrack mm-hmm. of this, actually. It was, oh, yeah. It was a very 2009 soundtrack, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Something about it, it just it, it brought me back to a simpler time, I guess. It was, it was like, oh, I remember these songs. <laughs> mm-hmm. They used to be played in movies all the time. Now they're not played at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But yeah, it fucking. But yeah. Uh, is there anything Good else? Soundtrack. Uh, ooh, I uh, feel like we're. What are we missing anything else? Uh, so just streams of con- consciousness. No. Uh, I. Yeah. No, I can't think of anything. I think we've done it. I think we did. All right. Uh, if you've been listening this long, thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, or follow the channel if you're listening on Odyssey. Um. Do you have a sign off, Spooge? Hey. Oh. Uh. Excited for the, the next season of Beast Stars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A fucking. Uh, yeah, give us fucking suggestions from HBO and Hulu. Oh, Bastards. yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> and this will be a bye-bye. Bye-bye. Contact!